There are quite a number of myths that have been uh, talked about the technology. One of them, it is uh, there to be able to reduce the population of Africans. There are quite a communication that goes around even within the social media. And uh, what I can say is, it's not true. The technology is currently being used all over the world. Actually, there is no continent that is currently not utilizing. We have over 70 countries that have uh, approved uh, either GM animal, GM crop, and uh, taken to the market. And when you look at the, the, the countries that have actually adopted the technology, are the countries that are quite advanced in terms of doing even most of the assessment to do with food safety, to do with the environmental safety, and all that has been taken care of. The other one which has been uh, going on is uh, the seed that you plant will not be able to germinate. That is not true because uh, the technology that is being uh, peddled out there was a proposal in early 80s uh, by the, the hybrid seed production companies that time. But that technology never saw the light of day because the scientists were able to discuss and see it is not user friendly to the farmer and therefore there was no need of introducing that technology which makes uh, the seed not to produce, to reproduce. But, but the seed that you are going to be giving, uh, a farmer can be able to reproduce but the only challenge is like any other hybrid seed, as you continue reproducing the productivity might go low. So that's why we engage the farmers and uh, encourage them to use certified seed in every season. That is not only for GM, but even for the other hybrid seed, because they, it gives you better return for the investment that you make. The other thing that has always been pendled out there is the issue of uh, GMOs causing cancer, which is not true also. Uh, that was because of a publication which was done in 2012, but scientists since then have been able to evaluate and actually confirm that the results were actually non-conclusive and didn't follow the principles that are there when you are carrying out uh, scientific research. And also, in, uh, after that, the EU Commission uh, study to actually evaluate uh, that experiment. And in 2019, a publication came out which actually uh, was able to explain and actually also conclude that the previous publication of 2012 was not actually done according to the right principles and actually it was retracted. And therefore, there is no cause for alarm. The use of uh, the technology has been there for more than 25 years. For the countries that have been using the technology, so far there has been no adverse effect uh, shown or even published. And therefore, we are coming out with confidence that uh, the technology we are giving out is safe. And the institution that we have put into place, the National Bio Safety Authority, and other institutions that they work with are able to do an assessment of what uh, the scientists present and actually uh, certify and approve that whatever is going to the market is safe for human and uh, feed used by our farmers.